Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Taru and today I have the 11th update for the Pan in Every Palette challenge for you guys. Or is it a finale? <laughs> we will see. But yeah, this was started on Instagram by Lady Pansalot and yeah, there are a few of us doing it here on YouTube but mainly on Instagram. But anyways, this year I have been trying to hit pan on all of my palettes. And last update I was working, well, I had just one in this project, the rose gold chocolate, and then another palette in the Glow to the Asian Gods project, which is the Venus XS Silver palette. And then I had these four that had had pan already, but I wanted to try if I could hit a new pan this year. And let me tell you guys, I have hit pan on all of those palettes. <laughs> so, yeah, since last update, I hit pan on everything that hadn't, hadn't had, that hasn't, what? English is hard. Well, they all have pan now. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So, let's take a look at this I Heart Revolution chocolate rose gold palette and there it is on that yellow I said there would be <laughs> and I think I used it like two times after the last update and there was pan so yeah but let's see the weight it did change a little bit and yeah overall in this project i have used 0 0.2 grams so that's what it took to hit pan and i mainly used this one i used a little bit of these others but that was my favorite for the all time so there is the pan so i did what i wanted to do in this project but then a little spoiler for the Glow to the Ancient Gods palette uh, project. There is the tiniest pan, now you can see it there. And yeah, these were the only two last time I didn't have pan, so now there is pan. But yeah, this is not done for the other project, so it's not so big of a spoiler because, yeah, in there I want to at least hit another pan, but yeah. I'm pretty happy. It's November and I've done what I wanted to do. I what I said in the beginning of the year I wanted to do. And then I have these bonus palettes that I wasn't planning on hitting more pan, but I would say, mm, I have a year left, so maybe I can hit pan on all of my palettes in one year, so there is the new pan. These were there before, but that's the new one. And it was so close. I think I used it once or twice and there was the pan. So it was easy and I knew it would be easy. <laughs> That's why I said I would try to hit pan in these other ones as well, because they are all quite easy. There is the pan in the, what is it? Dia de los Muertos palette from Revolution. And yeah, I used it as a inner corner highlighter so it wasn't that hard either well i am losing my mind with these brushes and whatever then i have a freedom what is it i pro in exposed and i got this one for free some with some order and there is the new pan these were here originally and there is a new one so that is exciting this one took a little bit more i can't talk today please excuse me it took more work to hit pan in this one but not too much and then the last one 
the Revolution Reloaded Neutrals 2. And the pan is where I said it would be <laughs> in this transition shade. So that was there before and now there is the new pan. So, yeah, a lot of new pans. And now the question, is this project over? Or am I doing something with it? And it is not over. And that is because I did something. <laughs> I have a new palette in my collection. This is the Jeffree Star Alien palette. And I bought it. It was on sale on Beauty Bay. And I've got my eye on this since it came out last year. And now it was on sale and... I decided I will get it now <laughs> and yeah this is what it looks like and yeah these are my kind of color colors and as you might guess this one the absolute favorite <laughs> I love it pairing it with this one and with the purple and yeah it's yeah I am wearing this palette today I have this one on my crease and then this and this on my lid and a little bit of this dark brown there. So I am really enjoying this one and I already have a little bit of dip in this one which I use um, like in... Wow! The... I use it as an inner corner highlight. And there is a dip also. I've used it quite a lot. This one I use the most, but it's not even like the embossing is still intact basically. And I've used it the most. So it's like super hard packed. They, these look like used and I've used this one way more. But yeah, I've used this a little bit, this a little bit. And I have played with these colors also, but they are not like be work appropriate <laughs> or they take too long to get ready with if I were to use them but yeah I think this one might have pan or then this one but this is kind of like I don't want to just have pan in this one because I use this small brush and it would be quite easy to hit pan so maybe I want to have pan in somewhere else but yeah this project is not over until I have pan in all of my palettes, so we are continuing. And if I get more palettes, then it's just, it's gonna keep going. <laughs> so, for now, this is the only one I will be working with. And of course, I have some, some like single shades in other projects, but that is the all only palette that doesn't have pan. So, yeah, <laughs> that's where I'm at. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye.